Hi, and welcome back to Exemplary Marketing's YouTube channel. Today, we'll be talking about the best way to learn Swift programming language. What is Swift? Swift is a general purpose programming language. Apple developed it for the iGadgets, iPad, iOS, macOS, etc., as well as Linux. And it's a compiled language designed to work with Cocoa and Cocoa Touch frameworks. Swift uses the Objective-C runtime library that allows Swift, C, C++, and Objective-C code to run within a single program. Is it difficult to learn? Well, Apple does claim that Swift is easy to learn, and it is so compared to many other languages. Swift is only as difficult as any programming language if you don't have any prior programming experience. If you can pick up the basic concepts of programming languages, then Swift should be reasonably easy to learn. It is vast and complex, but not impossible to learn. You'll need practice and experience as with any other language. You can think of learning Swift to be on par with languages like C++ or Scala. Why should you learn Swift? There are plenty of reasons for learning Swift. For one, it's easy and useful for the development of mobile apps. It's also a versatile language. Swift was developed as part of the initiative Everyone Can Code, which means that the language is simple enough for everyone to start coding. As we already know, iPhones, iPads, etc. are the best-selling devices across the world. And what better than developing apps for iPhone? If you know Swift, you can quickly develop apps using built-in intuitive tools. Swift is open source and has excellent community support. Since Swift is relatively new, there's a lot of scope for invention and collaboration. Even you can contribute. Most importantly, there's a huge demand for Swift developers and the average salary of a Swift developer can be as high as $85,000 per annum. How much time does it take to learn Swift? Learning pace varies from person to person. If you have absolutely no programming experience, take your own time to get familiarized with the coding jargon and essential concepts for learning any programming language. For example, OOP, build, deployment, compilation, etc. While you can speed up your learning with some good tutorials and books, if you plan to learn on your own, that will add up to your time. As an average learner, you'll be able to write simple Swift code in about three to four weeks. If you do have some programming experience, you know, if you're fresher, then I would suggest that you start with some good tutorials online, both free and paid. You would need a laptop and the necessary software for practice. Is it possible to learn Swift without an Apple computer? Although there are workarounds to learn Swift without an Apple computer, like using a virtual machine with OS X or Hackintosh, you can get a cheap one for resale and use that to practice, because the main aim of learning Swift is to develop apps on the iPlatforms. You can buy a refurbished Mac Mini, that's going to save you loads of time, and you can focus on learning Swift rather than doing hacks to fix your computer. But if you want to take the longer route, go for the VirtualBox or Hackintosh. How to learn Swift There is no shortcut to learning anything. If you're a programmer with a few years of experience, you can follow basic tutorials and videos on YouTube. You can also check Swift's official website for documentation and support. Whatever path you follow, the key is to practice, along with the online and offline tutorials. If you do not possess any previous programming experience, then you should probably start with the official documentation and samples that are provided by them, along with basic tutorials on the web. Alongside that, try this nice and easy to follow basic books to start your learning. As a beginner, be active in online communities like Stack Overflow and Official Swift Public Forum. Nice books. Books are a great way to complement your learning along with other online sources. At this time of COVID, you can get a Kindle version or physical copy, whichever is available. However, that shouldn't stop you from learning. Some helpful books that you can keep for reading are below. Programming Fundamentals with Swift, Swift for Beginners, and Mastering Swift 5. Blogs. Blogs are a great way to read necessary information and some specific topics related to the main subject. The official Swift website provides a lot of useful blogs and updates on various topics. Other than that, you should look at the blog Feedspot in order to see the most popular blogs on Swift programming language. NS Hipster is one of the most popular blog sites for Swift and has some excellent tips and bits about Swift, Objective-C, and Coco. It's a weekly journal and you're going to benefit from it even if you are a beginner. In the same way, Use Your Loaf is another blog site that is very rich in content and very useful for beginners. Courses. When it comes to courses and tutorials, you need not worry at all. There are plenty of them. Basics of Swift. To practice Swift, you need to have a local setup. You need the Xcode software to run on the Playground platform. Download Swift from the Apple website. You must have a valid account, and only after you log in, you can download the DMG file. After downloading, just do the installations as per instructions. In this video, we have given you ample resources to get started with Swift and a few resources to go to advanced learning as well. 
To be frank, Swift is a smart move from Apple to motivate iOS developers to develop more apps trying to leave Android behind. Objective-C wasn't such a great language after all, and Swift is a significant improvement over it. Swift is relatively new and has many useful functions and a lot of scope for innovation and new additions. It is one of the top languages to be learned in the market and can fetch you a job with a fat pay. So that's it for today's video. If you learned something new, make sure you drop a comment down below in the comment section and don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more.